Like, I can't believe this happened. She Glam is coming for milk makeup. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ohama. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. So I got a package from Shein, or <laughs> so I got a package from She Glam, and when I opened it, I thought, this looks good. Let's see what it is. It says Good Grip Hydrating Primer. I know that She Glam has some really good primers, so I thought, let me go ahead and see what this is all about. I opened it, and this is what it looks like. Does this not remind you of this primer? Like, look at this. They are practically the same shade. Practically the same bottle, except this is a bit skinnier, and it has the same pump system on the bottom of it. Like, what? She Glam definitely came for milk makeup when it comes to this primer. The question, though, is does it actually do the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer? Like, I want to know. So in today's video, we are going to be comparing the She Glam Good Grip Hydrating Primer to the OG Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Prime ma. Let's go. On the box, it says buckle in base makeup because you are not going anywhere. Their newest oil and silicone free primer features a refreshing gel texture that makes your skin soft, smooth, healthy, and moist. Moist. <laughs> ah. Woo. This primer gets absorbed into your skin in a flash and keeps the makeup in place for hours on end. Okay, for those of you that know nothing about the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's an award-winning hydrating face primer with hyaluronic acid that grips makeup in place for 12 hours and hydrates your skin to prevent your makeup from melting down or caking up. Ooh, honey! Okay, okay, okay. Listen to this. First ingredients, aloe barbadenis leaf water. Next ingredients, water. Next ingredients, glycerin. Next ingredients, PEG 150 disaster rate. She glam. First ingredients, water. Second ingredients, aloe barbadenis leaf water. Fourth ingredients, glycerin. Next ingredients, PEG 150 disaster rate. I feel like if I keep reading, the ingredients are going to be practically the same. Just moved around. So I went to open it and the product came out. Oh, you can actually unlock it. Seems like a refillable thing where you can probably only buy this and fill it into your container, which is good if that's the design for it. You can lock it in place and then open it. Let's see. I haven't actually smelled this yet. Okay. Um, literally the same texture. Now let's blend it in and see. This one has a very strong smell of some kind of a fruit. I'm very bad at placing my scent. The Milk Makeup scent is very, very faint. The She Glam scent is really prominent. They both obviously feel very gel-like. The Milk Makeup is a little bit thicker. It looks like I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison of these two products. Is one stickier than the other? Probably. But as they dry down, their stickiness starts to match up with each other. I'm gonna let this like settle in for a second and then we'll go in with some products on it. This is the Milk Makeup side. Of course my skin is super glowy and my edges are very matte. Like bear with me, okay? Bear with me. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Um, And this is the, the She Glam side. I'm going to go in with a little bit of a uh, powder. This is the Ben Nye colorless powder under eye color corrector. I'm also going to add some of it to the top of my lip. Set all of this. Next, we're going into this contour shade. Let's go in with the jaw. I also like blush on my nose. Okay, this concealer is too bright. My summer foundation came to bite me in the nyash. Quick setting spray. Morphe Continuous Mist Prep and Set. This is what my skin is looking like at 205 with She Glam on my right side and Milk Makeup on my left side. Hmm, hmm. They both look really good. They both have some level of peelability or rollability to them, but it's not, it's not that crazy. It's not so crazy to wear you're just thinking, why am I doing this right now? It's not bad. I'm gonna film a few other videos. I have to do my brows, my eyes. I'm showing you guys a new palette on the eyes. So I'm gonna do that. And then when I come back, we will see my finished look and 
then we'll do a small wear test just so we can see what everything is looking like. And especially because I want to know how well the She Glam holds up against the milk makeup. See you in a bit. Bye. The time is now 3.46 p.m. and this is what my skin is looking like she glam milk makeup i love what this is looking like i don't really know whether or not i will be able to tell a difference at the end of the day i'll come back in a few hours and we can see what my skin is looking like the time is now 8 52 we'll say 9 p.m okay and this is what my skin is looking like number one i was expecting that to be a clear winner and a clear loser okay, let me just put that out there because the way i see things i'm thinking hey uh one is from she glam one is from milk makeup we know milk makeup is like the brand she glam is a new brand by Shein. This is the milk makeup side. This is the She Glam side. What do you think? Do you see a clear difference? Do you see a clear winner? I feel like they're so similar in what they look like right now. I have a line over there, right? That's like the thing. But besides that, I don't see a difference. It seems that Shein has successfully replicated the Hydro Grip Primer, okay? The price points, I'm sure, are vastly different. Like Milk Makeup made a product that arrived, shook everything up, and everybody just started duping it they're both good it looks like they're both on the same level if you don't want if you don't want to or you can't splurge on the milk makeup check out the she glam good grip hydrating primer oh hammer out <laughs> so that is it for me showing you a side-by-side -side comparison of these two products let me know down below in the comments what you think which side do you like best she glam or milk makeup love you lot i'll see you in my next video bye